Hello, I'm Paul Beckwith. I'm in uh, Smith Falls, Ontario, in front of the Bascule or uh, Seesaw Railway Bridge that was built 1912-1913. Um, this is just a quick uh, video clip just to let you know that yesterday I was a uh, guest speaker and invited speaker to the Canadian Club of Rome and I gave a talk for 45 minutes called um, Extreme Weather uh, with uh, Abrupt Climate System Change Mayhem. You know, something like that. So I spoke for 45 minutes to the uh, Club of Rome and then I took questions and uh, responded for the second 45 minutes. So. The Club of Rome just uh, uploaded a YouTube video of, of the event from yesterday on their website. There will be a link to that um, video in the description of this video, so please uh, check it out if you want a detailed description of the, uh, to try the, where I explain the, all of the extreme weather events that are going ar on around the planet, you know, specifically the so-called heat dome, in the western U.S. associated with the massive drought and massive crop failures, it's just too warm. The wildfires, the temperature uh, record in Canada set recently of 49.6 degrees in the town of Lytton, B.C. before it went up in smoke. The flooding in China, unprecedented, incredible flooding in China, flooding in Germany and other places in Europe, and basically all of the climate uh, change mayhem that is going on. So please check out that uh, video and like I say the link is in the description and uh, I just want to talk a little bit about this uh, swing bridge here. Um, so you can see that it's kind of you can see the bridge up at about a 45 degree angle over the uh, canal and you can see at the back of the bridge there, there's a huge counterweight, huge concrete counterweight. So this thing is extremely well balanced. And in fact, when it was built in 19, uh, you know, 12, 1913, so over a hundred years ago, it was designed to be operated by a small electric motor. Now, interestingly enough, the town of Smith Falls, like many other towns, was operated, it had electricity, but it was direct current, it was DC. And uh, a few years later, the town, like all other towns, uh, shifted over from direct current electricity to alternating current, AC electricity, so the motor was no longer useful, so they just operated this bridge manually by hand, turning cranks. I mean, the it was, it's so delicately balanced, you know, the weight of the, of, the, uh, of the train track on the bridge section that's up at 45 degree angles and the counterweight, the huge concrete counterweight and a big, huge, um, you know, sort of like a big, huge, uh, uh, you know, half, uh, half circle where it just, uh, it, it just, um, slides it just spins on basically it spins so it's called the bascule bridge b-a-s-c-u-l-e which is french for uh seesaw bridge basically so it's a fascinating <coughs> piece of engineering it's kind of unique and uh i'll just walk towards it and get a better view here see if these uh geese respond whether they're aggressive and attack me or whether they all go for a swim Come on, guys. Okay, they're choosing to uh, <coughs> go for a swim. They need some exercise, so there you go. Come on, last one. Okay, so there they are. I'll leave them alone now and go back to the bridge. So I don't know if these docks are very secure. I won't bother trying to get... I'm, this dock looks okay. Eh, it's not too bad. It's a bit tippy here. So, that's okay. You can get, hopefully you don't get seasick. 
Okay, so there's the uh, rail. So this was basically, um, it was Canadian Northern Railway was the company that operated the rail line back then and uh, CNR, Canadian Northern Railway. Um, and then later it became uh, Canadian National Railway, I guess, and there were, you know, uh, mergers and stuff. But anyway, this is the Tipping Bridge. So, uh, you know, it's been stuck in this position, I think since the late 70s or something, when the line stopped being used. So this rail line goes between Ottawa and uh, Toronto. I was hoping a boat would come through. Just before shooting this video, I had a couple boats uh, come through, but I wasn't ready to go yet. It would be nice to actually walk on the other side and try to climb up on the structure. Maybe that's a, maybe that's a project that, uh, maybe that's the next thing I'll do. But anyway, it's uh, an impressive piece of um, engineering that's uh, no longer used. It's in Smith Falls, Ontario. And I'll also include a link for you to um, Rewind Ottawa, which uh, is an excellent site on anecdote, anec anecdotes from history of the Ottawa region. And I just read a couple of books, Ottawa Rewind, Ottawa Rewind 2, and there's loads of things. So I'm, you know, I'm going to some of these sites and, and uh, filming videos from them. So I'll, I'll give you the link there, which gives a little historical summary of this, uh, of this bascule bridge. So anyway, uh, thanks again for listening. And uh, please check out my Canadian Club of Rome um, video uh, presentation, 45 minute long presentation on abrupt climate uh, system change mayhem and uh, followed by 45 minutes of questions from mostly, uh, you know, from KCOR members who are mostly um, retired from the government, from Environment Canada. And uh, most of them are also members of the Canadian Meteorological and Oceanographic Society. Okay, well, thank you for listening and uh, enjoy your day. Please check out my website, paulbeckwith.net, and consider making a donation to uh, um, <clears throat> help me in my research and videos on, you know, our, our uh, <clears throat> ongoing abrupt climate system change uh, catastrophes. And uh, thank you all who contributed to offsetting some of my costs on my road trip across uh, Canada. Thanks again for that. Okay, bye for now.